We are gonna rank all the streaming music services that are out there right now in this video. And we're not gonna use like logistics and numbers and, and audio formats necessarily, not necessarily. I wanna do this more of a consumer standpoint which one sounded better and what spawned this video what why this video is happening is because if you guys are familiar with my lexus vehicle i have a crazy cool sound system inside and i am a huge sound quality nerd and i like to use title that is my streaming service of choice i love title because it has some really high quality music now sometimes my girlfriend gets in the car and her bluetooth automatically connects to my radio so sometimes her apple music will play before my title connects and uh, it was a huge difference instantly so what had happened was usually we listen to title in my car and i'll play we kind of listen to the same music so i usually use mine and it sounds really good i'm used to it i have my tone controls and everything set up based off the of title now she got he she hops in the car i don't have my bluetooth on and she starts playing music the same kind of music that i like to listen to from her apple music and i instantly looked at her like this and was like what the heck that sounds terrible. I, I literally told her that I hated it. I did not like it. She's like, what? I don't hear any difference. I'm like, bro, there's a difference. I don't even hear it. You, there's a difference. It was, it was instant for me how much worse Apple Music sounded than Tidal. So I'm gonna go and tell you which apps I think are the best for you on not just like a, a usability side, but if you care more about the audio side of things too, I'm gonna tell you which one is better. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what apps I think are the best. Now, it's in terms of usability and audios and how they sound. That's the only two I'm gonna go off of. How easy it is to use and how they sound. That is all that I'm gonna base this off of. So it may be different from a more technological standpoint. Now, I think Cubuzz is the absolute best audio file app. It has the highest bit rate, streams the best, you're gonna listen to this mostly through Bluetooth, right? And so it streams the best, the best high bit rate that you can possibly ask for. Just a really clean signal, maybe not the easiest to use compared to maybe Spotify, Apple Music, maybe Tidal, um, but it does have the best audio file quality. So if you are purely sound quality, you need the best audio that you can stream, Cubuzz is probably the one to go, but most people don't use that. Spotify overall is the best music app. And I used to use that all through my college years and then a little bit after that. So five, six years I went with Spotify because it's in everything. It's built into your receivers, into your preprocessors. It's built into your car, Apple um, CarPlay, Android Auto. It's all there, right? So Spotify is very user friendly. Probably the best price wise too, as far as what you get. Really cool, get lyrics has every song that ever comes out and it usually is quick to update their library. Um, and the sound quality is not too bad. It does have several different tiers so you can choose based off price, how much sound quality you want. And it does sound pretty good overall. Now there is one thing about Spotify that made me leave. This is the one thing, the only thing about Spotify that made me switch to Tidal. And that is that it does not really play bass under 30 Hertz. And that's a problem. Most music isn't digging deeper than 30 hertz, but to know that I'm capped at 30 hertz as my lowest frequency made me leave immediately. Once I heard that, I was like, nope, gotta go. So now I use Tidal. Now Tidal to me is the my overall favorite one. It's not the easiest to use compared to Spotify, but it's pretty similar. It is a little bit slow on updating their library, I would say. Um, pretty pretty slow compared to Apple Music and Spotify and maybe even Cubuzz. It takes forever to get the newest songs. Now, not, I say forever, meaning maybe a couple days behind the competition, but a lot of people will say, hey, have you heard this new song? And I'll go search for it on Tidal, it's not there. I'm like, well, dang, let me go to another app like YouTube to watch the video or something. Um, so Tidal sounds phenomenal, has master quality. It is right up there with Cubuzz, I would say. It absolutely smashes Apple Music for sure. And Spotify, it's better than Spotify too. It has a higher bit rate as well than Spotify does as well. So for Tidal, that's my secondary choice for audio files behind Cubuzz. Now people are gonna say Apple Music is the best alternative app for Spotify because everybody has an iPhone. If you are an iPhone person, you're either using Spotify or you're using Apple Music itself. And uh, I recommend you use Spotify. If you have an iPhone, if you're not gonna use Tidal or Cubuzz, go use 
go use Spotify. <laughs> Apple Music to me sounds so tinny and, and, and just awful compared to every other app that I've listened to in the car. I'm telling you, when she got in my car and started playing music, it was so harsh and so bright. There was minimal mid-range, there was a little bit of low-end bass, but the treble was so fatiguing instantly that I had to go to my tone controls and smash the down button on the treble to lower the high notes because it was such a sour sound. And it really made me look at her like, there's no way you don't realize the difference. Once I switched back to my app, she actually heard a little bit of a difference. So she's not anywhere near um, an audiophile at all, could care less. She uses Apple Music, so she cares less. Um, but it was, it just, it, I will never have Apple Music as an option over Spotify, Tidal, and Cuba. There's no way. Now, user friendly, it's simple to use. Every song is gonna be on there, yada, yada, yada. But from an audio standpoint, it is not good. In headphones, in the car, streaming it, it's not my first, second, or choice at all. <laughs> now, Cuba's versus Tidal War, I think. It's kind of personal preference. I know with Tidal, you have to use like an MQA or something like that to be able to listen to it at its highest uh, bit rate, at its highest streaming quality. You don't have to do that on Cubas. You can use it from a high quality DAC or an Android phone or whatever and get the absolute best. You can't do that with Tidal, um, but there is that capability of Tidal. And if you can, then Tidal is a better option, especially because Tidal has Dolby Atmos music and Cubas does not. So if you listen in home and you have a system that can utilize Dolby Atmos music, which is a very cool thing if you have not heard it, it is a really nice and immersive way to listen to music. Tidal has tons of tracks that are Dolby Atmos enabled. Cuba does not have any. So that also leans me towards the Tidal War. Um, and then like I said, Apple Music and Spotify don't sound better than any of those two apps. So I'm all for Tidal. All right, so we can't leave out YouTube Music. We can't leave out Amazon Prime Music. We can't leave out any of those other ones, unfortunately. But I think we actually can because those are ones that you just use because you have Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, it's worth going in and listen to some Amazon Music if you want to, whatever. Maybe you have some Echo Dot around the house and you can utilize that but of course Spotify connects enabled in those too so it doesn't matter um, but maybe you have YouTube music and you have friends over and you want to put it on the TV and just play music while you're cleaning the house or nacho party or whatever the case is that's when you're gonna use Amazon Prime music or YouTube music because um, those don't compete at all with the title and Spotify and Cuba's and Apple music it does not compete I really I've never ever met somebody who uses Amazon Prime on purpose <laughs> I've never met anybody who uses YouTube Music either, but it's there if you want it. If you're on your phone or whatever and you have a subscription, great. If you're at home and you have friends coming over, it's nice to throw it on the screen on your TV and let it play through whatever the songs are gonna play. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a party type of app. You're not critically listening to music with those apps at all. Google Play Music, that might as well just be blown up, throw it away, nobody is using that either. So your core three is Apple Music, Spotify, and Tidal. I say that's your core three you're gonna see most people using. Spotify is number one used. I think, what is it? Apple Music is probably number two very close, if not almost number one. I think they're climbing up in the rankings. And then Tidal, uh, Tidal and QBuzz are interchangeable depending on your preferences. So those are my best apps. For me personally, I'm always gonna use Tidal. I do wish that they would keep up with the uh, the library as the new songs come out. That is my only complaint. And I guess you need an MQA decoder to play at the highest bit rate, uh, or at least to stream it. Um, so that is a bummer and compared to Cubuzz that doesn't need that, but Cubuzz does not play Dolby Atmos music. Um, so that is, it's kind of a toss up between those two, but I think Spotify is the most user friendly. You can pick it up and know exactly what to do as soon as you see it. All the music that ever comes out is gonna be there. It's so user friendly and it's accessible everywhere. If you're home theater, it's in your receiver, it's in your Echo Dots or whatever you guys have, your Echo Studios, whatever, it's everywhere. And then Apple Music is everywhere too because everybody has iPhones or MacBooks or something like that, uh, Apple TV 4Ks. So you can ex access all these music streaming services very easily and they're relatively easy for anybody to use. But for me over here, we're using Tidal forever and always. So what I want you guys to do down below is let me know if you're using streaming apps, what are you using at your home, in your car? What are you choosing as your music streaming source? Are you using Apple Music? 
Are you using Tidal or are you using Spotify? Let me know that down below in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you in the next video. K-Biscuit out. Peace.